IHTN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hey Braves, welcome back to another episode of Braves Beat. I'm Julian Lambert. I'm the Dylan Condor. So Dylan, have you been dressing up for Spirit Week? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? Anyway, moving on. Our Braves on the girls and boys golf teams have been busy this past week. The IH Boys Golf Red Team is 6-2 and two after the first three weeks of the season. As for the girls, they defeated Madeira and Sophie Chabri was a medalist for the team. Great work, Braves. This year marks the third consecutive year that our school district has been honored with the Auditor of State Award. Congratulations to Mick Davis, our outstanding district treasurer, and our Board of Education for receiving this fantastic recognition. There may be no school tomorrow for students, but the entire staff will be participating in a day called Braves Academy, where they'll learn about different teaching methods for their classes. Special shout out to the students who will be coming in to assist. It should be a great experience for everyone involved. Speaking of which, let's check in with Sailor to see how some Braves around the building are reacting to their first full week of the school year. What is your reaction to the first full week of school? Good. Crazy. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. I love all the students, they're amazing. Depression. Stressful. It's really good. Block days are so fun. Eh. Reaction to the first full week of school. It's pretty good so far. <laughs> I'm tired. It was rough. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sailor. IH Kids Fed packed over 400 meal sacks for students in the Roll Hill area this past Sunday. If you are interested in getting your community service hours done early this year, be sure to contact one of the Kids Fed members to get information on the next packing session. The Indian Hill Cross Country team traveled to Northern Ohio to the St. Mary Panthers Fawn Run. The boys team placed fifth overall and the girls team earned first place. Way to go running Braves. Stay tuned for an interview with Miss Savage next week. NHS and the Red Cross are having a blood drive on Wednesday, September 4th. Our high school has committed to sign up at least 36 people to donate blood to local hospitals. A single car accident victim can require up to as many as 100 pints of blood. By donating blood, you can save up to three lives per pint. Please sign up as soon as possible during your lunches or through the Google form being sent out on campus. Tomorrow, the football team kicks off the regular season against the New Richmond Lions away at 7. Be sure to come out and wear white. This is a whiteout. Let's pack the stands and keep the energy high, not only for tomorrow night, for the rest of the season. Go Braves! Don't forget we don't have school on Monday. Remember why? We've got Labor Day. It's a day for all rest and no work. So don't even lift a finger. Take that day off and relax every second. So Dylan, you doing anything this weekend? No, not really. Good. Well, be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy Indian Hill. Hill. How much do pirates pay for their earrings? <laughs> A buccaneer. <laughs> you got it, dude. Old one. What do you call a man standing in a pot? <laughs> I want that. No, no, no. Stew. That's terrible. That's a good one. Come on. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting pirate. Interrupt. What did the toucan say when he wanted to order more fries at the restaurant? <laughs> Just put it on my bill. <laughs> what did the lion say after he ate the clown? I don't know. What? I feel funny. <laughs> Get it? What's a pirate's favorite uh, letter in the alphabet? I don't know what. Well, you think it would be R. Oh. But it's actually to C. That one's for you, Atwood. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the lion eat the tightrope walker? <laughs> he wanted a well-balanced diet. Oh, I got it. 